You too. What it is, what it ain't. Let's hop into it. Main behind bars. The newest update shared in YNW Melly's latest court hearing may have sealed the deal on his life, as YNW Melly's bond request was denied due to new evidence being brought into the upcoming retrial. This evidence provides a motive for YNW Melly targeting YNW Sack Chaser and Juvie. This was very hard for the prosecutors to prove during the original YNW Melly trial, but now it seems like they have it, as YNW Melly was very close friends with King Vaughn, leading to his arrest. Recently, a rogue O Block member was would share a secret that YNW Melly told King Vaughn, as Melly would ask King Vaughn for advice on how to handle a situation with his two best friends. Hold on, bro. There's no way. There's no way. YNW Sack Chaser and YNW Juvie. Did Vaughn really tell you that Melly told him that he's two friends? He ain't come out and say, like, who, bro, what? This nigga really just, wow. Who, whatever this nigga name is, I hope Chicago just write that nigga off. Angle out, angle hold you. Write that man off. Why you on no jump? For one, I don't know why people go on DJ Vlad or no jumper. I don't get the point. I mean, I, I get it. I ain't gonna hold you. I get it. If you like a smaller person or whatever, when it comes to status, you go on one of them too. You up there. I feel you. You change for me. Find your way. But damn, bro. <sighs> Niggas like this, dog. We got into an argument. And so, you know, if, if, if you know, when people <clears throat> can say something without saying it. And so he told me, like, once I posted what I posted, he Vaughn was mad at me, he bro. Why you put up there, bro? Walk the bam. I'm like, you you sitting up here, like you know the love we got. You do this for us, but you gonna trust that a his two friends? And he said, them was trying to extort him. And so I'm like, if they was trying to extort him. Then, then why are you still around them? Involving Sack Chaser and Juvie going after Melly for financial gain. Now, if you know anything about King Vaughn's past and how he would handle situations, you can likely guess how Vaughn would have told YNW Melly to handle it, which is what J Hood is hinting at. Now, this was the missing piece of evidence the prosecutors bitch. were missing during the original Melly trial, which was an overall motive to commit the crime. Now, it's important to know that the Florida Police Department originally arrested Melly and Bortland on February 3rd. 13th, 2019. Now, Melly was granted a mistrial in his case on July 22nd, 2023. However, he's remained in jail since 2019. Meanwhile, YNW Bortland was released on a bond for multiple years. The police, ever since day one of the crime, only wanted YNW Melly. This even dates back to the week of the crime in 2019, where YNW Bortland was interrogated by police, where he would literally hint towards him being the innocent one throughout the interview. Mm. I'm driving, ducking for my life, trying to make sure so I don't get hit. And you telling me, you work, you telling me about some shit. I don't, man, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make sure so I don't get hit. I don't, I'm, man, I'm driving. I'm trying to make. Listen, bro. Don't, uh, how I say this? Don't believe everything your street partner say. Don't believe everything your street partner be kicking these niggas gonna snitch if not snitch they're gonna they're gonna um hint that the other person did it police ain't dumb bro they're not dumb and social media detectives is not dumb everybody's for self for one so don't believe your partner saying, oh, I will never tell. Oh, I will never talk to these police. Oh, I will never. <sighs> Listen, bro. I know shit and I've seen shit and I've experienced shit to where I know for a fact. All these little street dudes, all these little extra tough gangster niggas, they all pussy to me. I'm serious. I'm just be real. Because everybody for self and everybody going to talk to these police. You know what I'm saying? 
Don't hang around niggas. If y'all listen to anything I say, stop hanging around niggas. They're going to talk. Point back, period. There's only two people I've seen that did not talk and they got off. One was one is a Palm Beach rapper. He go by um Huncho, I think, some shit like that. That boy went silent. You feel me? Interrogation room went silent. Got out scot free. Now he out thriving and shit. And um I can't even think of the other one, but you feel me? Two people out of everybody that be extra tough and all extra gangster shit, face tattoos in the streets. Man, I don't believe none of them niggas. I'm gonna be real. I don't get hit, you know what I'm saying? What I'm gonna be worried about, you know what I'm saying? I, I know it's not for you to worry about. See, crazy, bro. But if you tell me it happened there, there's gotta be some evidence there. There's gonna be broken glass, just like there's broken glass over here from when you guys opened the, the doors and stuff like that, okay? There's gonna be broken glass over there when the windows got out. There's gonna be casings from the people at your car okay there's gonna be stuff evidence over there okay right now there's nothing i kind of think i know what happened because love and hip-hop atlanta is dropping its first cast album i want to put this album together with real artists with new love i'm going to bring the guys Oh, the other guy for me. As it was this interrogation on the week of the crime where YNW Melly has been the main suspect, police mm. believes that he is the only guilty one here doing the crime towards Sack Chaser and Juvie. As with YNW Melly sitting in a jail cell for the last five years, Jamie King, his mother, would go on to reveal how he has lost his life due to this case. And plus, if you in a friend group, let's say you're in a friend group of five. Three of them niggas is, is is trying to get after you. At least three of them. There's no friend group that's locked in, locked in like that. That be pushing that gangster shit. Them niggas is all for self. And them niggas is all against you. They just with you because you want to come up. But all them niggas going to backdoor you. That's all of Florida. Don't let nobody else tell you different. That's all of Florida. Back doing. Niggas is not real in Florida. Don't let nobody, don't let nobody tell you different. There's a lot of rap gang groups in Florida that, that well, not broke up. What's another word for it? That split apart because niggas not really for niggas. You feel me? I'm not going to drop no names, but there's a lot of gangs rap groups friend groups in florida right now palm beach especially that split up because nobody's click tight like this i ain't gonna name no names it's none of my business but y'all know who i'm talking about y'all know the certain groups that i'm talking about and how his life even is behind bars as jamie king would reveal that she feels absolutely heartbroken for her son as she feels helpless he's not even being treated like a human inside a jail when you saw melly's statement just saying how he's been hurt how he's scared for his life as a mother how did that make you feel it's heartbreaking it made me feel completely helpless Broward sheriff's office definitely needs to be investigated i mean they they are making up their own rules. We tried to go to. I ain't gonna lie. If you ever went to jail in Broward, Broward is fucked up, bro. Broward is fucked up. I ain't gonna hold you. Broward is fucked up. Tallahassee fucked up. Jefferson County fucked up. Um, where else? I don't know about Tampa. I don't know. I don't know about Tampa, but them places fucked up, bro. In the jail is fucked up. I ain't gonna hold you. My place is fucked up, but I ain't gonna hold you dog. Man, they dirty. They them cops is dirty, boy. Them cops is so dirty, bro. No cap. Court about this situation, the judge really doesn't have any uh, jurisdiction when it comes to the jail because we actually had a hearing about the mistreatment of him, and the jail kind of they make their own rules. 
And I don't think that's fair because I know that they need to answer to someone too. As she would begin ranting over the fact that YNW Melly was granted a mistrial in the first trial, essentially beating the case. However, the police are still not allowing him to leave his jail cell. He's also not even allowed to use a phone or even look at his own mail. My son has not been convicted of anything and even other inmates that have been convicted or anything, they have the right to use a telephone. They have a right to just to be allowed to write letters to their loved ones, to receive their mail. They hold his mail, they don't give it to him. As even according to YNW Melly's own mom, Melly has practically lost his life every single moment that he has to sit in a jail cell. So she knew that she had to make a move to save her son. She would go on to start a petition to just have law officials look into Melly's situation. She would get over 50,000 signatures to which it would be announced, YNW Melly has been transferred from Broward County Jail to Paul Rain Detention facility in Florida as he awaits his retrial to resume. While it seems like it's good news, it's a lot deeper than this and allow me to explain. A viral comment would share, I do believe the Paul Rain detention facility is to house people struggling with mental illness. I really hope that Melly is mentally okay, making many believe that YNW Melly is struggling a lot more than what we know. As we would even catch a glimpse of how scared YNW Melly's mother is for him, as during the original Melly trial, when Melly was granted his mistrial, his lawyers requested Melly to receive a bond out of jail or even house arrest, and the judge would deny it instantly on the spot and said that Melly must return to jail, causing his mother to break down in tears. This would even lead into Melly asking if she was okay. I ain't gonna lie, Melly mama bad, boy. Melly mama bad, I ain't gonna hold you. She's a MILF. She can get hit, no cavalry. When receiving a mistrial and being denied a bond or even house arrest, it's very obvious that the feds want you. They just need prosecutors to do a better job of proving that you're guilty to a new jury list, as this would get the attention of rappers in the industry. Rap OG Boosie would speak on the stress that Jamie King's been going through due to her son's situation. Okay, so then I met his mama while he was in. Oh, okay. I met his mom while he was in, and uh, she was, she was, she real, bro. You know she real. You stressed out. I heard she had a. Yeah, she real, and I and I, you know, I, I reached my hand out to him. Uh, Cause I'm real. Yeah, I, I reached out to him, bro. I met his mom, and she a good, she a good woman, bro. And when I see them mamas like that, I, I it remind me of what my mom was going through, bro. As only three weeks later, YNW Melly's upcoming retrial would be officially announced. It would be reported, YNW Melly's double M retrial is now set for September 2025, meaning the trial doesn't begin for an entire year, as his mother would then give an update outside of the courthouse. Free Melly till he's free. He's coming home, guys. Just mm. patience. So we did have court today, him and board. They both had court. And so basically, the judge put a new trial date in for September 10th of 2025. Please make it make sense. I just, I don't know. I don't know. At this point, they need to just dismiss the case. So, and uh, yeah, he still doesn't have phone calls. Still no visitation. He's still... Um, in the new facility all alone by himself no contact he's not allowed to have contact with any other inmates they move him around with several guards it's it's like something you never which then leads into the worst news of it all the trial doesn't begin for another year because ynw melly and bortland were just hit with new charges the state filing six new charges against demons and two others who were allegedly involved the charges include tampering with a witness directing the activities of a criminal 
solicitation or conspiracy to commit tampering and unlawful use of a two-way communication device. Now, a couple of those charges actually carry a life in prison sentence if there's a conviction. YNW Melly, his real name is Jamel Demons. He's actually in plain clothes in the courtroom for the first time in months. Again, as this judge really starts the long process of seating a new jury. As these new charges were connected to YNW Bortland's massive mistake, Juvie's father would go on to expose how Melly and Bortland were witness tampering and even what code words they were using to make Melly's ex-girlfriend not testify against him in the original trial. Both uh, Melly, Jamel Demons, YNW Melly, and uh, Portland Henry, who is known as YNW Portland, are now charged with witness tampering. It sounds like the prosecutors are saying there was this kind of crazy way that Melly was communicating. He wasn't allowed to use the phone, but he was passing notes to people, and then this person's calling this person, and then that person. They like to me, they're going through extreme measures to try to cover up or convince people not to testify like Mariah, Mariah mom. They was using cold words like Rihanna and ASAP Rocket's baby mom. And as it would then be announced that YNW Borland was arrested for witness tampering as while he was outside, his house was raided by the feds. And while they were doing an investigation throughout his household, they were able to find insane paperwork stuffed into a suitcase that they are now going to use against Melly and Bortland. Melly's co-defendant YNW Bortland was booked into a Miami jail Monday night and it's being held behind bars on an out of county warrant. We just confirmed the warrant is out of Broward County for witness tampering. The warrant obtained by Long Crime Network states as follows. On or about April 10th, 2023, continuing through and including July 22nd, 2023, Cortland Henry, AKA Bortland, along with others, did unlawfully and knowingly engage in misleading conduct toward another person with the intent to cause or induce them to withhold testimony. The warrant continues the alleged witness had been summoned by the legal process to the jury trial of Jamel Demons, aka Y&W Melly. The dates in the warrant are important. Jury selection for Melly started in mid-April and a judge declared a mistrial on July 22nd, the same day the warrant claims Bortland allegedly tampered with the witness. As it would then be announced, here are the images of alleged notes discovered during the home raid of YNW Bortland's home last week. Alongside these photos here of YNW Bortland detailing on a piece of paper where certain jurors were sitting along with a description of what they looked like during the original YNW Melly. Trial. To understand how serious and illegal this is, here's DJ Academics' reaction. To keep it real, this is sloppy. Portland, how the f you gonna have the notebook of the jurors in your house? Like, god damn. Holy <laughs> sh. You know what I mean? Like, brother, like, come to f on. It, 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 it's like it's like doing a and and having the, the surveillance tape in your DVD player or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, come on, bro. Like, like they raid your crib and and the and the the surveillance footage of the is in your DVD player. They be like, oh, okay, thank you, brother. This can't be at your crib. Yo, those are nice. Hold on one second. Candace, what's up? I think my daughter's going pro at basketball. I'll take those. Wait, you're. When you add the new charges against Melly, along with the new J-Hood evidence to the existing evidence against Melly, you tell me Hold if on, he bro. sounds guilty. As there was evidence- I wanna know. I really wanna know. J-Hood, J-Hood, J-Hood. How he feel? I wanna know how he feel. Cause bro, you just gave the police all the evidence they need to really get this man unintentionally because you want to pop your shit on an um, interview. I hope niggas get your ass, nigga. Shared on Melly's cell phone of a text message of him literally admitting to doing the crime. The PCD oh, Amino asked him God. if he was okay and his response was, I did that and placed a smiley face emoji. Oh, my and God. the next message from 10 26 2018 at 1602 the ynw mailing count says what after that wow s h h h h as the next piece of evidence in the file is shared by Sergeant Williams, where he would go on to reveal that there is no way this could have been a drive-by when doing an investigation throughout the jeep that they were driving in number you said 17 outside the car 
How many rounds were inside of the car? Three. And can you exclude the sh for Mr. Williams and Mr. Thomas is coming from outside of the car? Yes, that uh, has some movement in it, which is round uh, site L here. The, uh, the is actually moving in that to create the, uh, the little bit of a that you see there. With Williams revealing the crime must have happened inside of the vehicle, this is then when YNW Juvie's mother would go to the stand and share who was sitting where inside of the car. Uh, can you state your name? <coughs> you told me your name for the jury. Um, Leon Phillips. Okay. And um, <coughs> are you related to one of the in this case? Yes, I am. How's that? I'm his mother. And who is that? Christopher Thomas. Positive 2-19-15. Um, Ms. Phillips, did you see who entered into the occupants who entered into that gray, gray Jeep? Mm hmm And is that a yes? Yes. Do you recognize where your son entered that gray Jeep? Yes. Which seat, if you can identify for the jury? Um, he got in the back seat on the um, right-hand side. Did you recognize the individual that got into the back seat on the left side, the rear driver's side? Yes. And who was that individual? Janelle. And Jamal, is that the defendant, Jamal Demons? Yes, ma'am. As with the evidence file being shared online, Lucy would go on to react, saying that when the feds want you, they'll do anything to get you, oh, yeah, just like keeping fact. Melly behind bars, even that's though we fact. had a mistrial. Now they're putting you more charges on them, and then... Um... When they want you, they want you. For sure. I knew, that, I knew they wanted them bad when they waited for that law to get passed. Hell yeah. They waited oh, so all the way... Penalty. So it'd be 8-4. Oh, right, yeah. You know, they waited all the way to that law got passed to take him to trial. Yeah, he was in jail for what, two years, three years? Yeah, they could have been took you to trial. You're right. They waited till that law got passed and took him to trial a couple months later. When they want you, they want you, man. Uh, I just don't see how he, he didn't get a bond after a fucking mistrial. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. That made me like, God damn. Yeah, that's crazy. No cap. Like, after a mistrial, that doesn't, that, that doesn't happen, really.